This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. It's that time of year, sniffles, coughs, and sore throats, but that can all be avoided with some simple remedies. Samantha Croy is here this morning to walk us through them. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. So you, yourself, just got over having a little tiny cold. Yes, and this would have been perfect had <laughs> I known, but you've managed to kind of steer clear of the uh -huh. common cold. Have you been doing anything special? No, staying no? away from you. Oh, <laughs> well, if you want to uh, avoid the common cold, there you go. End of the segment. Stay yes. away from me. Yes. No, okay, so what do I want to do when I'm sick? Personally, I just want to lay in bed. I don't mm -hmm. want to do anything, mm -hmm. but I want to start out with disinfecting. Mm -hmm. I am a clean freak. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that. Yes, you're a germaphobe. No surprise, yes. For sure. I'm a germaphobe, but I can't keep the germs away, but this will help do that. So mm -hmm. even though you're sick, you're not feeling well, you're going to want to wipe down your surfaces, keep them clean mm -hmm. so that people that are in and out of the right. house, visitors, aren't kind of leaving anything behind. Mm -hmm. Tissues, if you use a tissue, throw it out. Yeah. Don't leave it on the counter. This one also, make it a habit to do it all year round. Yep. You know, and even those Lysol sprays that not only make your house smell fresh, but they mm -hmm. disinfect. Yes. That is uh, Mr. Fred Beck's favorite thing in yeah. the newsroom is his Lysol uh, germ free Every day he would spray my yeah. desk yes. down, spray me. <laughs> it's fine. Yes, it works. All right. Um, tissues. Mm -hmm. Everyone, I'm assuming, has tissues yeah. around. You want to make sure you stock up because mm -hmm. I may or may not have gone through a box and a half, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, luckily I had some some extra. Yes. Random tip of the day for you. Yeah. So when you go through a box of tissues, mm -hmm. keep it, keep the empty box, and then when you get a new box of tissues, put a rubber band next to them to keep them together. So when you're done using your tissue, you throw it away in this little canister. There you go. Interesting. Yeah. I that would have helped because I took my garbage <laughs> out probably every 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, fluids. Yes. You definitely have to keep yes. hydrated. That's for sure. Water is good. Every once in a while, water is good. But you want the electrolytes and the mm -hmm. Gatorade. Mm -hmm. Orange juice for the vitamin C if you take the tablet, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. But you want to make sure that you're constantly, even if you're not thirsty, that you're keeping fluids in you. Mm -hmm. Hand sanitizer kind of goes along with the disinfecting wipes. Mm -hmm. Use that as often as possible. Wash your hands as much as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. What, what are your thoughts on hand sanitizer? I'm not as big of a fan as I am of washing your hands, right. but it helps. I don't carry one around. I know that they have like the travel size ones, mm -hmm. but when there's one in a doctor's office or even here at the station or anywhere else, yep. even at the stores before I even uh, grab a shopping cart, I wash my hands and they have like those little wipes mm -hmm. that you can use and I wipe down uh, where my hands are going to touch on the cart or on the basket. Yep. I feel like that helps a lot. So um, I do use it a lot mm -hmm. more than I would say probably washing my hands because this is a little bit more convenient yep. when you're out and about. But of course, obviously going to the bathroom and all that stuff wash yeah. your hands so yeah so make a habit of, of both it doesn't mm -hmm. hurt um cough drops mm -hmm. these are probably I hate cough drops yeah yeah are you the one you go and get the red ones that taste like candy yep mm -hmm. okay. and then I eat them like it's candy yeah those are good <laughs> but uh I was real sick this last time and uh -huh. you can vouch for that I had to get the heavy duty cough drops mm -hmm. and uh they don't taste the best but after a while you have so many your your tongue is numb you can't taste them anymore right so it right. kind of works okay but um you know, stuff that you can do as far as resting, mm -hmm. keep the stress levels down because when you're stressing, you're not sleeping as well, and then your immune system is just dropping. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you're keeping up with that. And uh, remember I told you I was a little blockage in my nose mm -hmm. and a little stuffy? Did I tell you what I used? No. Afrin. It's over the counter. Mm -hmm. You can get it at the store. Mm -hmm. It's a nasal spray. Have uh -huh. you used, do you like nasal sprays? I don't sprays? like nasal sprays. Okay. Well, this one is pretty cool. So... It doesn't drip down uh -huh. into your throat, uh -huh. and it doesn't drip out. Okay, so interesting. So it's kind of like not really a nasal spray. It'll clear you up in, in five seconds. You have to you have to be a little bit careful on how much you use it. Mm -hmm. but. Another random tip of the day for you if you don't like nasal sprays like myself, mm -hmm. strong mints like Altoids. Eat one of those, and it clears up your nose and everything else. Or uh, I like horseradish. Sauce, oh, yeah. that's a good that's yeah. a good one. Yep. That's a good mm -hmm. one. And of course, obviously, if you haven't already, get your flu shot because it yes. is that time of year. Very important. All right. Thank you so much. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlineconnection.com yep. with a bunch of other tips that you have yep. on hand. And we'll be right back.